Most people dream big in their best season of their life and they think they can conquer the world, which is great. But there's also times where in their worst season and their capacity shrinks because of their anxiety levels kick through the roof. And, you know, when your capacity shrinks, anything that gets thrown your way is overwhelming. So therefore, you're going to come up with the best way to sustain your personal well-being. You're going to be at your all-time best. So I like to um, apply routine. Routine, what is the routine that gives me the best outcome that is consistent every single day. And so, you know, you'll hear a lot on this podcast, people do talk about routine. You know, I always reference Craig Bellamy, one of the most successful NRL coaches in history, where he's somebody that will um, accept 88%, for example, of the outcome. His formula is if we complete a certain amount of sets and we pass and kick at this certain time, and if we play the ball quickly, it will achieve an outcome. The likelihood of other teams to exceed that, have to pull everything off in every single way and the likelihood of that happening is lower. So he goes, great, I'll accept an 88% win ratio or whatever it may be based on that formula. Now, I liken that to business. Now, we need to come up with our business model, our personal journey model that gives us the best outcome outcome possible. So that's um, that still moment of the morning to, to clear the headspace so you can think clearly and, and think bigger, but also just take in, you know, the birds tweaking, tweeting around you, you know, also being most productive as well. So you've given yourself the still moment to then go into a busy day and that routine is very efficient, it's very productive, and then you stop and then you, you, you sneak in your training session so you're physically fit, you're mentally fit, your endorphins kick back in and you've got the energy after having lunch to kick into the afternoon. Now, I know I'm rambling a little bit, but that's the routine that I love to implement. So therefore, the outcome I know is going to be this and I could achieve way more, but I actually say your no is way more important to, uh, than your yes because protecting that routine is far more important than trying to squeeze in more that eventually unravels and makes you achieve less.